Greetings. In this video, I will debunk the entirety of Marxism. But first, a brief biography of Herr Dr. Marx a.k.a. Mr. Douchebag. Karl Marx was a philosopher in the 1800s. Marx invented socialism, communism, and AIDS. He and his buddy Frederick Engels wrote a lot of books against capitalism including Das Kapital, The Communist Manifesto, and a bunch of other shitty books that you should never read. Marx had no influence in the social sciences because, shortly before he died, marginalist economists debunked everything he ever wrote. The only people who Marx influenced were people like Lenin. And, as everyone knows, Lenin was the same thing as Stalin and Hitler. So way to go, Marx. Your irrational hatred of all things capitalism resulted in the worst genocides in history. In short, Marx caused the Nazis. So on to my pun age of Marxist theory. Karl Marx invented the labor theory of value. Everybody knows that this theory is false because a lot of people think it is false. But since some Marxists who are basically the same thing as Christian fundamentalists still believe in it, I will debunk it. Marx said that labor creates value. So if I spend like 100 days making a shit sandwich then it will be worth like a bajillion dollars, right? Man, what an idiot. This moron Marx spent years writing three volumes of his shitty book Das Kapital and he didn't even see this problem. What a fucking chump. Lol. Some Marxists say that not just any labor can create value. They claim that only socially necessary labor time determines value. This is wrong because it is retarded. The only reason people value commodities is because they think that commodities are useful. When I go to the 7-Eleven, I don't value my Slurpee because it took X amount of labor time to make. Now, Marx tards might counter my claim by saying that I am using the word value in a totally different sense. To them I say, Fuck you. Capitalism 1. Marx 0. Marx said that capitalists exploit workers by taking the surplus value created in production for themselves. Since I debunked the LTV, I don't really have to talk about surplus value too much. Plus, Fringe Elements debunked it in his new video, so just watch that. Fringe Elements has an in-depth understanding of the Marxist notion of surplus value and how stupid it is, so he should be treated as an authority on the subject. Labor doesn't create value. But even if we are to accept the LTV, why would capitalists want to exploit their workers? Their workers would all just quit and find jobs working for better capitalists. Capitalism compels capitalists to treat workers well. Plus, capitalists are workers. They have jobs and they go to work. They just get paid more because they are good at what they do. Karl Marx also invented the idea of communism. Basically, communism is when the government runs everything and everyone is forced to be equal. Equality is against human nature because people are naturally greedy and self-centered. Of course, sometimes people don't act greedy or self-centered. But come on. Capitalism allows everyone to enjoy the fruits of their labor. It is the most personally fulfilling way to organize a society. The failure of the Soviet Union should cut off all debate about a post-capitalist society. Capitalism is natural and has always been with us in some way. Communism is an artificial, alien imposition that can never work. Without a profit motive, the world would fall apart. In conclusion, Marxism is stupid pre-marginalist mysticism. Nobody should even bother to learn about it. Karl Marx was a complete tool.